Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial based research channel and uh, basically I'm here to show you um, how you can start this research yourself. But today we are just going to be looking at um, my research results, um, having a look at some of the research in action and um, if you've got any questions uh, regarding starting this, um, then just give me a shout. So, uh, right, I hope I know what I'm doing. Um, right, today we are going to be looking at Vesta, which is a protoplanet, um, orbits the sun. I've got some information about it taken by the uh, Dawn mission. I think the image we're looking at was uh, 2011 but just uh, I do highly recommend um, pausing having a read and, and pausing and just taking the images in uh, especially when I'm moving through the map I'm going to try and move through the, the map a lot quicker than usual um, so pause and take it in uh, if you are new to this uh, you're probably not going to find it um, that easy but when you do understand what i'm looking at um, i'll try and explain as many things as i possibly can when i uh, when i get when i get going um, it's not easy it's one of those things um, this is uh, yeah, where are we? Yeah, um, 900,000 square kilometers in relation to like sizes of places and things. So it is it is classed as a a giant asteroid. Um, um, so there's lots lots of information out there. Um, is a uh, a site with you know tons of stuff so it's it's well worth having a read and um, seeing how uh, the scientific community um, have their take on this type of sort of thing um, sorry about that uh, it, it's it's crazy I was I was watching something um, with a load of scientists and uh, God, I mean, it's to the point of, um, you know, stupidity, you know, intelligent um, arrogance of, of sorts of things. Anyway, that's another thing. So it, this is half my problem. I um, I come in on these videos I'm doing and uh, I don't pay a lot of uh, attention to uh, how I should be doing things and stuff like that but it, it, it's a catalogue for me and um, I, I'm just going to try and give you as much information as I possibly can I mean it's you know I could do half a dozen videos on what I'm about to show you um, but it could get I'm going to do it this way so shall I start this video again um, I've already done it once so uh but um, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, and I will be doing some more videos on this. We will be having a look at this image and we will be having a look at this image. And I think I've got three or four more as well. It's just uh, quite incredible, um, <clears throat> the stuff I'm finding. And, uh, and it is a asteroid. I mean, there are others out there. There's... Uh, Buna and, and uh, 67P and stuff so we'll be having a look at those as well you've probably seen stuff like that on uh, other channels um, but obviously you know it's my take on stuff and so and I'll try and be as um, I don't give you a lot of information about what I think and stuff like that because like I've said before it, it just puts ideas into the viewers head and it's not necessarily the right one and most of the time it isn't so I'll leave it down to you so what haven't we looked at 
Right, okay, so we're going to be looking at this. This is from the uh, NASA Photo Journal site. Um, it's quite a small image. Um, and when was this? It is 2011. Um, it's a composite image um, using several color filters in visible light and then near infrared light. Um, and they speak about the uh, lithography, which is um, the physical characteristics of rocks, color, and texture. So, in regards to the quality of this image, if they're talking about being able to research um, the actual rocks and their texture and stuff and things like that, um, I don't know what the researchers can do with images like this. Um, Let's see where I am in regards to that. Okay, right. So, you just got a bit of a... So, this is the image. This has been enlarged to fit in with the layers on the, um, the other images I've been doing. And that's what I should have done. So you wouldn't be able to get this close at all. I'm just going to show you where the pixels start. There you can just start seeing them coming through now. That's at 3200% magnification. So you don't have to go that far, but um, it's uh, essential really if you want to pull out any of this uh, hidden information. I'll be pointing out things which we've looked at this is all for people who are new um, <clears throat> it does take a while to do these videos because I want to show you as much as I possibly can and there is so much to show you um, uh, the makeup of the images the, the techniques they use to um, dissuade your eye um, point it in different directions the blurring and the the shall we say low quality filters or layers which they put over these images to uh, mask what's actually happening on the ground yeah it's so from that to let's let's go straight we'll go straight into the the color one now the reason it looks like this like i've explained before is the the tools that i use do saturate the colors and things so when it gets to a certain point like this, I will um, normally go to black and white and uh, it will make a lot more sense to you. So just let me do that. Okay. And let's go in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move through quite quickly. Um, Point some stuff out, um, do some zooming, and uh, I do suggest you pause and just take the image in. Because um, once you start seeing what is going on, um, this, the, the, to date, not, not to date, but just recently out of some of the stuff I've been working at, this, this was a bit of a, um, bit of a shock. I wasn't quite expecting to find as much as, uh, as much as I did. So basically, you're just going to be looking for the um, the non-rock formations, uh, basically. Um, and uh, in some of the stuff I'm going to show you, um, there's a lot of detail the closer you go in. Um, and it's uh, what I mean by pausing and having a look, it's just getting your eye brain used to the low quality of the image um, so they were talking about colors and stuff and um, the they're not the real colors um, let's let's go in the you can see the colors and you can see the the formations um, I will call them structures because that's what I believe they are there's way too much uh, comparison with the other work that's been done and uh, the colors are and break up um, 
through the structures themselves. So unless the structures have been painted um, various various <laughs> different colours and stuff, then uh, I, I don't think it happens. And uh, there's a lot of blurring in this image as well, which you'll notice more in the black and white version. So. We are there, okay. Now there's something we've been looking at, there's this uh, mystery behind uh, craters and things like that, where the edges of the craters, um, and in some cases on the moon and stuff, um, they they look like huge um, coverings. Um, some of them do look like they go in, and some of them don't. But that could all be down to just tonal artwork and things, um, just to distract the eye. So this, I will call them. I'll call it a complex of some description. Quality is low, but like I say, pause and just take it in. It is difficult to explain this stuff, um, you know, if I'm not going to say, oh, this looks like a, you know, a parking lot or a block of flats or whatever it is. Um, but there is a very definite structural design to this stuff, um, similar similar to a, a lot of places we've looked at. Um, but it's a little bit more um, flamboyant. So we do have some perspective on this. I forget the word for it now. It was the uh, it's the angles that the in relation to the um, surface and stuff so we can see the tops of things um, the fronts and the sides on this and I, I'll show that on a crater at the bottom so um, it's the curvature we have to take into account and it's quite cool down over here in this bottom corner where you can see you, you, you get into a more bird's eye perspective um, and it does really stand out so basically you're looking for um, well your brain is looking for things that look familiar it's as, as simple as that and um, a lot of this stuff isn't going to be familiar um, it's like the archaeologists say, you know, they want uh, repetition of geometric shapes and stuff and things like that. So, but what we are seeing is the connection on these sort of raised platform type areas. I'm presuming they're raised. We had a look, I think it was, um, it was either Pluto or Ceres, where we could actually find some type of support underneath these. Um, which is quite interesting. So you have to look at um, like uh, the infrastructure, a structural layout of stuff. So maybe you can see things better here. There's some stuff going on here. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I'd like to show you the black and white one, which is a lot more revealing. Let's just go in there.
And yet again, the uh, the whole surface of the the photograph is covered in um, what looked like designed structures. So just to show you the, what the original map is like, and don't forget this has been enlarged as well, so you wouldn't even be able to see, this would just be a pixelated mess. But once, um, if you do start researching this stuff, that's, that's um, one of the first things you'll do on the original map is just you know, have a look and see if you can find any strange looking stuff. And to me it does, to you it probably doesn't if you're new. Um, but it's something which comes with uh, practice. See, I haven't really worked on this area yet. This is something we've seen a lot, these particular shaped um, platforms, and we find them everywhere. If this doesn't look artificial, then I don't know what. But if you are new, it will take you a while to uh, familiarise yourself with uh, these things.
and I can guarantee that all this will be all around here. See how that steps up, there's a little tower on it. Okay. I haven't done too much work on this corner here. It's, it's like I say before, it's, it's one of those things, it's not just one tiny little thing sticking out in a photograph, it's, it's dozens, hundreds, hundreds of uh, anomalies. And um, we've investigated how, how, how these uh, images are made up. Um, and I was talking to someone the other day, you know, are, are people getting the same results uh, on, on different imaging software platforms? And they are getting the same results. Maybe different results in relation to how experienced they are in doing this or how they like to use the tools, but it's the same specific shapes. There's no shape manipulation here. It's purely playing with the... Um, the tones of the pixels. I don't lay anything down, um, and I don't manipulate any sh shapes in the in the image. So this is an area I'm going to show you in the black and white, which is uh, quite amazing. And I was talking about this is more of a bird's eye type sort of view. You can just about see it changing. And uh, this has a longer perspective on it. But quite incredible. So let's go back up here. And just to show you again. Sorry about the jerkiness of the images but it's just the nature of the program I'm using there's no flow to it in regards to zooming and things like that so okay I'm going to show you the black and white version now there's a lot more detail in it um, and if you're familiar with the work this is how it ends up looking so the darker areas without this look um, I haven't worked on quite so much so we'll start in the same area okay and what, what I said you'll notice more are the blurred out spots So I hope this is a decent zoom for you to get an idea of. So I'll quickly run through this like this. Um, pause and observe. And then we'll go and have a look at some, uh, some finer details. But just check out these areas. They're simply not rock formations. Doesn't. It isn't at all. You can see. You can see the design. You can see the purpose 
of the construction um, it's just quite alien and there's, there's no other way to uh, describe it really it's not a familiar thing and it's not familiar for your for your brain because this stuff isn't supposed to exist See all this area is blurred out. This is blurred out here, here, up here. It's just a way of diffusing the image so you can't see anything. You know, and for your average Mo. You're not going to see anything anyway. See? No work being done. These are blurred out areas. Blurred out areas are open, they're just softer. actually show you. I can do it myself. I've done this before. Okay, great. Just chuck that up. So, reasonably crispy. Not anymore. Now, if I hadn't just done that, you wouldn't know any difference. That area again. Look at that. And this is the information which is in the original image. What a difference.
okay right I really suggest pausing and checking this out Okay, so like I said, we'll have a closer look at this. Just give yourself time. So this is what <clears throat> a crater and this is what's going on there. Um, we always look at crater edges and stuff because there always seems to be a lot going on. So let's get in quite close to that. There's different levels of enhancement here. Um, I simply I wouldn't be able to show you anything if I um, did full enhancements. So it would just take weeks and weeks to do them. Remember the three dimensions. Look for the shadows. Look for the sides. The fronts connecting parts it's just nuts this is okay we'll come back to that Do that. We'll get in there. I did have a little bit of an argument with someone um, in regards to this method, um, but there's I can use tools across the whole image um, or a cropped part of the image but there's absolutely no way I would be able to show you this amount of detail if I wasn't be able to specifically work on specific areas. Um, you know and uh, it is up to me how far I um, bring this stuff out. Um, to where I can sort of clearly see what's going on. Um, but I am not manipulating the shapes that are in the image. As you can see, I can, I'm scribbling over them and these are specific shapes. So when we pull out, um, your eyes will be, it's, a, it's like a visual compression thing going on. I'm 
And this is sort of basically the around about the speed I work at. So you can see how long it does take. Oops, what happened there? More busy things going on around the crater. It's the original. It's a color version. The color is simply artwork. And we see these familiar sort of like light points as well. We see those everywhere. Um, how does that show up in the original? They're still there. Like I say, this part of the map hasn't had much work done on it. Let's try it from this, this level. I mean, to me, there's definite structural layout going on here. <clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna zoom in on a few places and stuff. See if you can get your head around it.
see how it is in the image. To me, this is uh, this is just an amazing photograph. And just clearly shows the extent of the uh, cover-up. Nothing added. This is simply the information hidden in the original image. Hidden being the operative word. It's, it's plain and simple. And if you don't believe it and you still and you are still here, try it yourself. <clears throat> it's the aim of the channel. It's the only way you can start Asking a million more questions. So, yeah, it does get a bit crazy. So anyway, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this one. Um, I think it's astounding. Um, and I've got even crazier stuff coming. Um, there will be more videos on this. Um quite a few more maybe five or six more but you know we've got we've got time and uh as usual i just want to thank you very much for joining me um hello all of you and um anyone who's new to this and you have made it this far um just give it time it's not something your brain is gonna allow you to do just like that it's simply the way it works and uh, thanks again and I'll see you soon